Hey, in the previous video, I made this. It's my new composting toilet. It's something that I've tr wanted to treat myself for for quite some time because this one has added features. But so many of you in that video wanted to know more about the entire composting system. So here we go. Your chance to learn step by step how my compost system works. Where am I going? What am I doing? Well, I'm just heading into town to have a little shop to pick up some necessities. And one of those necessities is used coffee grounds. Now, why on earth do I want used coffee grounds? Well, you just have to wait and see, won't you? This gas station is my little town's top spot for selling coffee. They sell more coffee than the cafes, believe it or not. But the great thing is they leave the grounds out so that people like me can come along and grab them and use them for our composting toilets. The system is incredibly simple. It's just a whole lot of buckets that get stacked as they are filled behind the greenhouse in the shade. I've got two different colours of buckets for two different toilets. They're in two different piles. How it works is when I run out of buckets, the bottom one gets empty because that's the one that's been here for the longest. Washed and clean buckets are stacked here, so whenever any of us need a new bucket, we know where to come and there's always one ready. Once all the buckets are full and they've been sitting behind the greenhouse for a substantial period of time. Sometimes it's up to four months. The buckets then get emptied into the compost bin that, that we're currently filling. Here you'll see three compost bins. One is being emptied. One is closed off and the third is in use. They're in constant rotation. It takes about a year to fill one of these and also to empty one of these. They get emptied in the springtime because we're doing a lot of um, gardening, a lot of planting out, and a lot of building new beds. So all of this lovely compost gets used in no time at all. During the summer, as I do weeding and I pull excess leaves off various things, it all goes into here. And I make sure that before I put a substantial amount of green in, at least two of the buckets get emptied and lay it out in here before the green goes on. In a moment, I'm going to dig down into here to show you exactly what's going on. As with most compost systems that are running well, there's zero smell, zero flies. Everything's working in biosynthesis. And you must remember that to stop things growing in the compost bin, anything that's an invasive weed like um, wandering dew or dock leaves, they get put into the compost tea maker, which is a kettle. It's a large container that sits in the sunshine, fills up with water each time it rains, and that provides me with a nitrogen-rich nutrient for around the garden in liquid form. Right, so two or three days ago, I was in here layering the compost. There are two buckets of uh, compost toilet contents underneath this greenery, and it's been worked on by the worms. I'm just going to drag it back a little bit so you can have a look. I normally put layers of six or eight inches over the top. Now you can see here the contents. We've got a mixture of um, toilet paper, poos, and coffee grounds. Coffee grounds are great because it acts as a deodorizer. The coffee grounds are dry and they'll um, dry up any residual moisture, which is awesome. And of course, because of the urine diverter, we're not putting any, we're not putting too much nitrogen in there. So it's pretty much smell free. You can see, you can see that the worms are already doing their thing. 
And I'll dig into a little, dig into it a little deeper, and you'll see that uh, below this top surface, the worms are hard into it. Lots of action going on in here. The worms are incredibly busy doing their thing. And what we have going on here is layer upon layer of brown, green, brown, green. Again and again and again. It never fills up because everything keeps sinking down. It's a total of three years by the time we get into here because at the moment we're using this bin and filling this bin, this bin is resting. Now at the end of this year, that will be the bin that we go into and start using for compost. And this will be the closed off bin. That one there will be emptied in a few weeks because we're using all of this and we will start filling that one. So it's a it's a trifecta of compost that's um, turning over all the time. And as I say, it's three years until we get into here. By the time we get in to using the compost, it's a beautiful, rich, loamy compost. Okay, it's got quite a few sticks, avocado skins, avocado stones, and a few eggshells, but they get broken up during the tumbling and turning. Quite often, we'll sieve it with different meshes of sieve so that we can use it as um, seed raising mix. But basically, that's it. A whole lot of buckets, three compost bins, we've got two composting toilets, and everything is rotated and turned over, nothing leaves the property. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you learned something, and if there's anything that I missed out, please leave a comment down below so that I can uh, fill you in with whatever it is that you need to know.